Now, like wheat checks and bourbon, my first guests tonight are perfect weekday morning combo. Together they serve as executive producers and hosts of Live with Kelly and Ryan. It airs Monday through Friday in syndication. Please welcome Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. Thank you for being on the show. I've known you've had me on your show. It's nice to be on the other side of the glass. <laughs> Is it really? Sebastian, I gotta tell you, you are you are so elegant at night. Yeah. This is an yeah. evening Sebastian Maniscalco. This is a sophisticated Maniscalco, Ryan. Do you understand? We're well, the getting- last time, last time we saw him, he was in a bookstore. I think you were in a Barnes and Noble last time we saw you. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that, ha that happened to be my home. Um, uh, but I want to start the interview, and this is my first time interviewing people, and I get two mm -hmm. at once. I want to go with Ryan, because I know if we go with Kelly first, we're not going to hear from Ryan. Uh, <laughs> how how fast you figured that out. <laughs> so give me my one question, and then we'll go I'll on. give you your one question. We all know, you know, you, you, you got tons of jobs and, and what have you. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning because I got two kids. What time are you getting up, number one? And number two, what are you taking to stay up? I need a nap at noon. Are you on some special Seacrest juice? I'm going to give you the whole routine. <laughs> and I'll tell you about the juice. So 4.30 is when the alarm goes off. But at 1.30, 2.30, and 3.30, I wake up thinking it's not going to go off. So that's the schedule overnight. Then it starts with a tea and two very strong coffees with nothing in it. And then I arrive, and Kelly has seen all of these different fluids. I have a matcha tea. I have water. I have coffee. I have uh, what's it, hibiscus, hibiscus oh. and chamomile. What, all kinds of things that I sip on during the show. But not bourbon. So you basically drink everything I make fun of. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and for dinner, it's a green juice. Wow, that's impressive. I, I'm, I'm impressed, Ryan. I, I'm, uh, I also want to get to Kelly. Kelly, are you waking up at 4 a.m.? What's your schedule like now that it's the pandemic? You're with your family. Uh, what's going on over there? I'm very codependent, so I wake up when Ryan wakes up. But um, sure. I wake up, since he has to wake up at 4.30 uh, to do the show, you know, he's on East Coast time, but he's living on the West Coast. I wake up at 4.30 East Coast time just so I can suffer along with him because God. I am codependent and I can't have him suffering alone. But unlike Ryan, I eat solid food. I am not on an all-liquid diet. I am on an all-carbohydrate diet. That's what's changed during the pandemic. Well, I got to tell you, you both look fantastic. I do watch your show. I do notice you have some problems sometimes with internet at your house, yeah. well, and then you yeah. and, and then you have to go elsewhere to possibly do it. What's going on with the internet? Are you still up on a dial-up? What is happening? Well, Kelly actually has gone down the whole block, right? Aren't you at someone? You I've gone down the block. I'm living with. Uh, well, now I'm I'm back down to three adult children. We did have five adult children living in the house, and. Some of them have jobs and some of them are still in school. So when I'm working, they're also working. But I keep telling them, I'm like, whoever works on camera's job is the most important job. So please stay off the internet from nine until at least 1130. Listen, I think you're, you're thinking the internet acts like the water in your house where you flush the toilet and you lose pressure in the shower. I don't think that's really the case. We I want you to know something to about our way. house. Our house is so poorly constructed, uh, Sebastian, that when I flush the toilet, the television the flickers. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, listen, guys, we all miss you on uh, in the actual studio. Is there a date where you guys are going to be reunited back in New York? Or are we just doing this from home till 2028? Well, we, we started this in March, and you know one of the things that we love most is the interaction that we get to have because we have 
plenty of conversations just before the show. And then, of course, we have the conversations on the show. And as of now, they're telling us, what, Kel, September, that we'd be back in the they're studio in some way in September. Person. Yeah. Early September is what they're telling us. I'm not coming back if I have to wear pants or bottoms of any kind. I like this from the waist up sort of thing that we're doing. So I think that we should build a studio where you can't see what we're wearing from the waist down. That's the only way I'm coming back. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. So we're really looking forward to <laughs> your return to TV. I'm so grateful that you took some time out of your busy schedule to be with me here on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Thank you so You're much. Honored. We love you, buddy. We're big fans. Thanks for having us. Big love you fans. too, guys. Thank you. You look like a Hollywood star. Oh, you're so sweet. Kelly, I'll see you in a few <laughs> hours. Okay, honey. <laughs> Whoops. No, we'll, we'll be right back with J.J. Watt. Always wanted to do that. Thank you.